To determine the length of your ramp, it should be six inches long for every one inch in height. Since mine is 12 inches high, that's 12 times six, or 72 inches, six feet long. The design of my shed doors do not allow much room for a ledger board to be placed on that board because the doors cover about half of the board there and I'm not about to cut the doors back because that would look weird. So I've got to be creative. One screw is needed to hold it in place. More screws will go in later. I use these shims to temporarily raise the legend board up to the proper height. So with the plank in place, the door will still barely clear. dig this out long enough so the board can go where it needs to go get the proper angle to cut I dug low enough so that the last plank will be just barely above the ground these boards are just temporarily in place so I could see where to make the angle then we'll measure the gap Three eighths. And cut it. And after cutting it with the miter saw, we have just the right angle. Now I'm going to use the same board I just cut as a template for all the other runners so they all will have the same length and the right angle. Joy should be no more than 16 inches apart. Uh, mine came out to 14 inches for a six foot wide span. Uh, these boards are here just temporarily to show me where I need to dig their trenches.
I had to use a strap to pull the joist up to the ledger tightly. <laughs> but um, what I should have done was just put these joists in first with the hangers uh, and, and then just attach this one <laughs> board on the back. Um, I didn't do that because I thought it'd be hard to, to get my drill uh, inside that ditch to do it, but I could have lifted it up. But anyway, learn. <laughs> Gotta make sure this thing is square. There we go. Gotta make sure this thing doesn't move out as square as I'm putting planks on it. So I'm gonna put these in to help hold it in place. Some builders cut their joists down so it tapers at the end. Uh, I started out with that. <laughs> then I noticed that it really wasn't that sturdy. It compromises the integrity of the, of the board. Um, and really, a six foot span is the limit for a two by four. I suppose if you had a lower ramp and you could put gravel under it, but um, I decided to go with just a full uh, platform full frame all the way around even though I had to dig deeper but I think it's going to hold up better. This joint tape protects the wood from water that will be seeping in uh, in those gaps between the planks and also from the screw holes that are formed when the planks go in. But it's pretty sticky. <laughs> it likes to stick to everything, including your fingers. You gotta keep pulling this part out too. That white stuff. I'm using deck screws instead of deck clips because I feel the screws will hold the boards in tighter with all the heavy equipment I'm putting up here and not shift around. So, but I am using deck clips for the spacing for one quarter inch between the planks. Place them in there. Hallelujah. <laughs> the last screw, 156.